So, Matt, you want to help me out with a micro jig spot? I would love to. <laughs> so, what do you? What would you suggest? I don't know. Usually, I, I just try to think of maybe something topical, something that has to do with the project. And then what I do is I just, I just cut. micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer. Work smarter. Definitely a woodworking challenge project this week. This nutcracker challenged both my skills and my patience, but it turned out in the end. And of course it's a decorative nutcracker. I wouldn't plan on trying to crack any actual nuts with this. I drew up some turning templates for the lathe. I've never done this before, but I hope it'll help me stay more consistent in turning duplicate parts like the legs and arms of the nutcracker. I'm gonna spray mount this to a piece of cardboard. What these represent are the cross sections of the different pieces of the nutcracker. What I wanna do is cut out this negative space. So here they are, this is gonna be his body, his hat, his legs and arms. I think I'll start with the arms. I like how the arm on the right side looks. And to help me match it on the left side, I'm gonna take diameter measurements just using a wrench. I think the two legs should be a lot easier. They're just really a couple of straight tapers. Turning the Nutcracker's body should be a lot easier because I only need to do one. I don't have to match it. I've been giving this a lot of thought, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to make the mouth nutcracker mechanism, and I think the best way to do it is to decapitate my soldier. I've kind of come up with a basic shape for the jaw and lever, and but I'm pretty sure it's going to take a lot of finessing to get it to work right. Well, this is definitely the most challenging part of this project. I, this is actually my third version. I made these two that I couldn't quite get to work. I think this version is going to work. I'll drill a hole in it and see how it pivots. I'm just kind of taking a guess at this. I think this looks like a good pivot point. Should be a little easier to make his hat. I'm gonna attach the legs to the body using dowel pins. 
I'll drill a small pilot hole first, then the larger hole. I'll attach his arms with a thinner dowel. I'm here in front of my Christmas tree because it's the perfect non-green screen backdrop to tell you about Harry's limited edition set, which will make the perfect gift for everyone on your list. Watch your father squeal like a schoolgirl when he opens this handsome gift box on Christmas morning. He'll probably spend the rest of the day in the bathroom. Shaving. Get one for your manly man uncle who loves knives and other sharp objects. Wait till he discovers the five blade German engineered cartridges. He'll need those because he hasn't shaved anything other than his arm hair in years. Your sister's husband will appreciate the mysterious midnight blue chrome razor handle that matches his dreamy eyes. Your brother's husband will thank you for the skin soothing shave cream and how good he smells. Finally. The whole family will thank you. The special edition set sells for 30 bucks, but you can take $5 off just by clicking the link down in the description and using the promo code woodworking at checkout. But wait, if you order before December 9th, they'll throw in free shipping. Happy holidays, everybody. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the way this nutcracker turned out, but I also gotta say, this is probably the last nutcracker I will ever make. This was a really challenging project. I knew it was going to be difficult going into this, but I didn't know just how difficult it was going to be. Turning the pieces on the lathe was half of the challenge, and then the other half was figuring out how I'm going to assemble this, how I was gonna make the jaw mechanism. Just a lot of components to this project, and just glad it's done. If you'd like to see more holiday projects, click this playlist over here. A lot of them are well, most of, oh, all of them are easier than this project. And if this is your first time here, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I post new woodworking videos every Friday on this channel and I'd love to have you on board. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next week.